Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at a big compute mistake people make all the time, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So assuming you've got photos on your computer or videos or precious documents, just like these ones right here, what people tend to do is they will delete these from their computer. And a lot of the time, they assume that when they delete these and empty out the recycle bin, these are then removed from the computer and they are gone forever. And over the years, I've seen many computers that have been sold. And basically, you run some data recovery software and up comes all of their personal information, i.e. documents, photos, and other stuff. So the scenario is that you've accidentally deleted your documents or you've deleted your documents and you've realized that you've deleted the wrong documents and then you take it to a PC repair shop this is exactly what that PC repair shop is going to do. They are going to run a scan with some data recovery software, just like this one, and recover that data from the computer. And even after you format the PC, it's quite easy to recover the data. And this is something a lot of people just don't understand. Even some of the free software that is available out there can recover data from your computer if you've uh, formatted your drive even. And it's quite scary to think all of the data that can be recovered. And this is because people don't take precautions after they've deleted files from their PC. As you can see here, if we dive into our pictures area right here on the area that has been recovered, if we click on PNG and take a look here, you will see that it's recovered those images. And of course, if you took this to a PC repair shop, they will charge you a lot of money to recover your data and it's quite easy to do yourself so this is a thing that you have to understand deleting stuff from the recycle bin or even formatting your pc doesn't necessarily mean you can't recover that data it is quite easy now what's important is if you're on the computer at the desktop here you can literally wipe the free space wiping free space involves overwriting the data on your hard drive and this will prevent recovery of those deleted files. You can use the trim command and you can use other software to scrub the drive basically clean and stop that data from being easily recovered. It's not 100% foolproof, but it does actually uh, erase a lot of that data on the drive and it makes it pretty much impossible to recover if you use certain types of software. Now, of course, if you're selling your computer or you are giving your computer away, it's important that you sanitize the drive, which is completely different. And you will want to completely erase all of the data on the drive. I've made videos showing you how to do this. And you can see we can quite easily recover all of these images. These could be your precious private images that you want to keep private. And of course, if you give that PC away, they will be able to recover that data on SSDs and also on hard drives. So be very, very careful. So let me just show you what wiping the free space of a drive is and how we can go about doing it. Now, inside this PC on the drive and right click on it and go properties, you will see if you have an SSD, I'm on a virtual machine right here, so it's gonna go up and do a defrag. But really what you're looking for is the trim command. If you click on optimize, you will see trimmed inside here and it will run the trim command on that drive and wipe the free space of that drive it's quick and it doesn't take too long and this will reduce the chance of recovering that data and if you run this on a regular basis it won't harm the drive but it will erase all of that free uh, space on the drive which will stop people from using software like this to recover it and again if you're getting rid of the actual computer itself you will then need to use a uh, sanitation method to erase the drive that way. And I've made videos showing you how to do that. You can check out my channel. But we're going to download Bleach Bit here, and I'll show you how you can use this to erase the uh, free space on the drive, and it will make it very difficult for you to recover data. And I'll show you after I've run the uh, wiping free space on this particular software, and then we'll run that other data recovery software again and you'll see that it is probably not going to show up those uh, images once again because they've been erased from the computer so let's go ahead and install this on the pc and we're going to run 
uh, bleach bit right here. And what we'll do is we'll just do a general clean on here. But if you right click on that drive, you will see that there was a wipe free space and you can just wipe the free space there. But we're going to overwrite contents and stop that from being recovered. And then what we're going to do is we'll check mark all of these and do a deep clean on the drive itself. And this will also wipe the free space. Now, wiping the free space on the drive doesn't give you more space. If you think by wiping that, it's going to give you more storage. It doesn't. It's just removing any old deleted remnants on that drive. And it will remove those and stop those from being recovered very easily, like I showed you at the beginning of the video. So let me go ahead and check mark all of these. And this will then go ahead and it will erase the free space as well as remove any temporary files or any junk on the computer. So let me quickly check mark all of this and we'll quickly run this on our PC and I'll show you exactly what it's like once we run the scan once more. So all I need to do now is I've check marked all of these and we'll go up and push clean and this will then clean all of the old remnants on the computer as well as clean any sort of temporary files any junk files any cached files that aren't being used any of that sort of stuff like prefetched it will remove all those from the pc and stop those from being recovered so let's go ahead and click on the clean here and click delete and you'll see it's going to start going to work immediately and we'll let this finish off and once this is finished we'll come back and take a look but if you look right at the very bottom of the screen, once it gets to this stage, you'll see it's starting to wipe the free disk space. This er erases any remnants of files that were deleted without shredding, and it does not free up disk space. But it will delete these files uh, if you've not shredded them. So programs like this will actually uh, shred files when you delete them and stop them from being recovered. Let's open up our data recovery software once more and we're going to run a same scan on the PC and we'll see what it actually detects this time and see whether it finds our files and see if we can recover them. So we'll just let this finish off right here and once this is done we'll go into the pictures section and then we'll go back into the reconstructed area and take a look and see whether it's actually detected our files that we've deleted. So let me go ahead and click now on the pictures. And now we can see right at the very bottom on the reconstructed, we're going to have a look in there. But here is our C drive right here. So it's in this section right here. And I can already see that the amount of files that were recovered have been dramatically reduced because they've been overwritten and deleted. So if we go into PNG here, and close this off here you'll see that there is no files in here it's not recovered them it's recovered some windows stuff on windows but it hasn't recovered any of the data that we deleted that that is now all been gone and removed from the pc so if you're one of these people that actually think that when you delete files from your computer that they are gone forever then you're mistaken they're quite easily recovered and a lot of pc repair shops will just do the simple task and charge you an absolute fortune to recover your data when really it's probably cheaper for you to actually buy a license for a bit of paid software and run the scan yourself and recover your data yourself rather than giving all that money to the PC repair shops because they will charge you quite a lot of money to recover your data and it is quite a simple process. Anyway, that is just about it really. You can see there is no way of recovering these files that we've just deleted through the recycle bin and that's because we did empty and clean the uh, free space on the drive which will remove a lot of the stuff that you have deleted. Now I can't stress enough that this is just a simple method of wiping the free space of the drive but if you are selling your computer or you're giving a computer away or giving it to a charity shop or something like that, you need to make sure that drive is completely sanitized. Using this method will not work at sanitizing the drive. You need to erase the complete drive and wipe the drive and put Windows back onto it. Or better still, just take out the hard drive and keep that for yourself and put another drive in there. That way, it's going to be a complete new fresh drive for the person that has that computer next. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use. Let me know in the comments section down below whether you knew 
uh, whether this was possible or not. I'd be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.